Hey guys, for public safety and official misconduct, back with you again for another video. Unfortunately, we have to do this one here. We are at the Louisville Division FBI building because, uh, well, because we need to be. No, you're there because an elected jailer and a chief deputy didn't buy your bullshit and they were mean to you. You were there because you're a fucking snitch. Hey boys and girls, Wrangler here, and I remade this video because recently other frauditors, whether I like them or not, whether they like me, doesn't matter. They have been calling out Dumbwaiter and his gutter slut, Tiflis. And one of the things that they have been calling them is snitches, because they are. Well, since that has caught on in the rest of the auditing community, have been calling him a snitch, he is blaming JJ and I for that. The fact that he's being called a snitch, saying it's our fault. Well, no, I didn't make you go unsolicited to the FBI. I did not make you run to other sheriff's deputies and threaten them and inform them. You did that. You informed the deputies that you are an informant for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You told deputies that you work in conjunction with federal agents on active investigations. Yeah, that is what makes you a snitch. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Um, I need to speak with somebody in the FBI building about corruption. Huh? I'm out here in the public area. Why? I want to record this whole thing. Um, I'm going to record this. This is part of the problem. This is part of what I'm trying to report. Man, I'm not getting any help, and I'm trying to report corruption in the government. So you're there to snitch. Is it going to be an hour like the when you call from home? Pretty quick. Okay, we'll see. Yes, ma'am. Um, the security guard just told me to come to this phone to get assistance. Yes, ma'am. It's Chris. I don't want to give that because I keep getting shut down by these feds here. So I would like to speak with someone and then maybe you can find my name out and then shut me down. No means no. Or is it possible that you have gone to other buildings for the FBI with the same exact bullshit and they communicate and they, they know you have nothing? Uh, make sure I'm okay. Okay. Well, I don't mind. I mean, I'm going to give it anyway because I'm going to do an official report. My name is Chris Ryder. I was born. I need to report government corruption, local. No, it's going to be KSP Post 4 and um, Meade County, Kentucky officials. They're actually working together in some corruption, like some stuff that I think you guys will want to investigate. No, I live in Indiana, but I'm victim of the crime here in Kentucky. All right, thank you. What was your name? Oh, you can get my information, but I can't get yours. Well, you are a documented not stalker and woman abuser.
Not to mention that the only crime Kentucky State Police post four committed was they arrested you on an open warrant. You had an open arrest warrant for a quarter of a century and they arrested you on it. That was it. All right, do you have like a number that's associated with you or anything? You don't have anything? Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. So they demand all your information first. And then when you ask them to identify anything to associate their position, they say, no, we can't give none of that out. She asked me to go sit in my car and wait for a duty officer to come out and talk to us. So, wow, talk about intimidating, guys. You got a security guard that won't let you have your recording going. And I mean, we're out here in the, look, like like right there, towards the, uh, like the kids, uh, bouncy center. There's a movie theater right there. So, all in the same parking lot. So this is not like any kind of private, secret, uh, restricted area, is it, Tia? No. And what uh, scientific formula did you use? You, a high school dropout with no GED, no education. What formula, formula did you use to determine that? Seriously, why is it you think, even though you have absolutely no experience in law enforcement whatsoever, that cops and educated federal agents should be listening to you strategize how they should do their job simply because you got your feelings hurt on YouTube? Well, when I get into reporting things that they might investigate, I won't, I won't, uh... clickbait. I'll part my ways, but, um, that's just, that's just the, how they do it. Well, here, we so. can talk to the investigator. I mean, yeah, let's go do that. All right. Yeah. Like I said, I want to do it in a place where I can keep my phone going. Thank you. I think they'll understand as soon as they get my report. In, inside the check, sir, uh, the recording can't continue. Okay. Once well, button, can you just have them come out here then? I can ask them. If you won't mind. Uh, I'll wait out here. Or at least ask them if we can set it up so that one of us can maintain our recording. Okay. I'll even cover like the lens or something walking through yeah, or something. There's, if they want. there's no Yeah, but on federal property, Chris, that would still be wiretapping. How do you not get this? I thought you knew about the law. Inside there, it can't, we can't do it, but outside here, it's a possibility. But okay. like I said, I don't know if the agent will come out here. Well, let them know that I'm really nervous to shut the phone off. Okay. You're a bitch. You think they'll, uh, Acknowledge the issues through the phone to the call-in system I'd like to bring it to their attention I just want to refrain from comment One of the reasons we've come here in person Hey Janice, this is uh, Daniel, the duty agent Yes I'm going to talk to you guys in yes. this room here But I'm not coming outside to talk to you guys until you go through the scanner Okay, the uh, only thing was he was saying that I can't have my recording device once I go in. So I think that's the only hiccup is we don't want to do this without the record. You mean you don't want to do this and not make money off of it? We have no problem going through all of your screen in process, absolutely. I just want to be able to record, buddy, that's all. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. And actually, you can't record here either. You can go over to the sidewalk out there by the road and record. But you're actually on federal property now, so if you record, we have the right to confiscate the item. I'm just here for your help. I'm here to report uh, public corrupt. Well, actually, corruption and maybe a whole lot more in KRS violations on on two different agencies. And I will be glad to talk to you, but that recorder is turned off. Just go. Huh? Do it without the recording. Uh, all right, well, I'll agree to it. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Is that a threat, or what, what are you trying to say here? What the fuck? Boom. Roasted. Say that. What are you talking about? Why would we threaten you? Who are you? Yeah, hopefully nothing goes wrong. I, I don't understand. Right, yeah, because... I'm talking about with my safety. Do you think that it's okay to only worry about your own safety and us public not be worried about ours? You're a bitch. I'm here to report corruption of police officers, and I'm the victim. Yes, I hope nothing goes wrong. I was manhandled. Oh my God, you're coming for my. 
No, Tiffany. Actually, you resisted arrest and you actually assaulted a police officer. For some reason, you weren't charged with that crime. You're going to do it my way. You're going to turn your stuff off and you'll come in through the metal detectors. The fuck I am. You just lost all my trust. You know what? I got a CRF for you now. What's your name? The word Dilly Cat. That's spelled D I L L I G I M. Dilly Cat. And it means Do I look like I give a fuck? Yeah, that's not happening, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's happening, buddy. What's your name? So go ahead and uh, step off my property. If you're going to record, or I'm going to come take the device. You can come on out here and come meet me. Come say hi. Come on, Tiff, right here. Stop it. Cut it out. I have a glandular problem. So, so that FBI agent just punked you like the bitch that you are. All right, so you wonder why Kentucky's in such bad shape, right? That might be the answer. That might be why, right there. That might be the reason why. If the feds are going to act like that when the public comes here and trusts to them. Hold on, jerk off. You don't represent the public, all right? You're a wife beater. She's a deadbeat mother who doesn't pay child support. You beat women. She can't apparently do anything. All right. You don't pay taxes. Either one of you, neither one of you own property. So you don't represent us. So in other words, just keep getting owned by the FBI here. Snitch. Then what do you expect? Uh, the man is practically threatening me just now. Over what? Because I said I was not comfortable not recording it for my own safety. How many times have you heard? officer safety but as soon as one of us in the public are concerned with our safety because of officers threatening the safety of our i know guys on crack that makes more sense than you <clears throat> all right so i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to make a report on paper and i'm going to send it in and i'm going to contact washington dc and i'm going to definitely tell them about this experience and uh maybe we'll do more about this uh, in another video uh by the way they never made a follow-up video to this i wonder why that's all yeah that's, that's not gonna happen and actually you can't record here either you can go over to the sidewalk out there by the road and record but you're actually on federal property now so if you record we have the right to confiscate the item come in for my help so you're going to do it my way you're going to turn your stuff off and you'll come in through the metal detectors the fuck i am but lost all my trust step off my property if you're going to record or i'm going to come take the device lot going on there a lot of corruption that is definitely getting exposed whether this federal agency likes it or not um there is federal investigation going on here hey this is for y'all bye all right so there was no investigation there is no investigation all right it's not like the feds were running an investigation into chris's victims and they went to Chris as a witness. Chris, on his own, went to the FBI to lie on people that embarrassed him. And that's called snitching. And he lost.